In the Revishal Citizens Militia, there is only one Officer Superstar. This is his story. I apologize for the sometimes staticky audio this episode. Something is wrong with my mic. I am working to resolve it. Heavy wooden doors, more than twice your height, stand shut in front of you. The rectangular sea-worn ornamentation appears in stark contrast to the padlock carelessly drilled into the wood. All right, let's open the padlock. The lock turns easily. You hear a click as the shackle pops open. Let's go. A great whoosh of air rushes into the dark innards of the church, as though rushing to fill a great vacuum. That happened when we pulled on the doors. In the heart of the city. Ooh, hey, that's pretty. Oh, look at this, it's got like lungs and stuff. Oh, oh we're having a thought. Very nice, Ooh, that was a weird jump there. <laughs> A strange stillness fills you as you look ahead. You should walk here, not run. Okay, uh, that's a very strong hint. This grotesque wooden figure looks half finished. The figure was added later. It's not part of the original church. Okay, hmm, I wonder if we should break out our flashlight. Let's try that. Don't imagine we're going to find a lot of tear here, so let's... Swap for the flashlight. Oh, maybe this was added later, too. More of the forked lightning pattern you saw outside. Bark beetles? No, it looks intentional. Some long-forgotten style, and I believe we just leveled up. Blackboard is filled with complex equations. They look recent. Oh, I wonder if this is our friends from the destroyed building who were working on that role-playing game that went bankrupt. The bowl is filled with water. A live wire runs directly into it. There's so much to see here. Ooh, look at all these, these plates or sensors of some sort are connected to all of these wires. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, another thought. The silence in this part of the church, it's almost palpable. All the shifting matter and shuffling of living things is gone. Nothing seems to exist beyond the church anymore. Maybe if you were to stand in just the right spot, even your footsteps would be completely silent. Oh, we just moved of our own volition here. Wait, I think I still hear something. And then it's gone. Almost all of it. But for the faintest of hums, you know, it seems the sound here is detached from its source somehow, if not blotted out outright. Truly unusual. You know, if you connected all of these in the right way, it would make a pentagram of some sort. See that? Ah, huh, interesting. Thing. Oh no, I guess that would be six pointed. Eh, I don't know. What do I know? Sounds like the pale. How do I know what the pale sounds like? From recordings of the far pale. You've heard them. We all have. Just found out about the pale. What are you talking about? You can hardly hear your own breathing. Ah, should we yell as loud as we can or stomp our feet and clap our hands? Let's stomp our feet and clap our hands. You produce a few muffled thumps, after which the silence feels even more total somehow. This is pretty neat. Yell as loud as we can. Your voice is barely audible. Not a howl, but the softest of whimpers. Wow, it's like some kind of white noise machine. It's unnerving. Let's turn to Kim and ask, what's happening? The lieutenant points to his ears and shakes his head. Then he leans closer. Can you hear anything? His voice is so muffled. Not really, but it's extraordinary. I've never experienced anything like this. I wonder why the church was built with such strange acoustics. Maybe the church was designed this way to prevent boisterous activity, singing and dancing on its premises. That seems unlikely for a church. Let's push for paranatural because that's been a pretty consistent theme of Superstar's thinking. Hey, what if it's something paranatural? Please, detective. 
<laughs> Not this again. Kim, you're never going to get away from it. He's trying to act dismissive, but at this particular moment, he's more open than usual to the idea of paranatural phenomena. Cool. We're, we're slowly winning Kim over to the dark side. Look up into the bell tower. The orderly rows of ceiling panels become barely visible, then disappear completely in the darkness of the tower overhead. We have a perception challenge to try to see what's beyond the shadows. We only have a 17% and it's a red check. So that means it has an impact on the story if we fail or succeed. So right now we're gonna pass on it. What if I don't want to know what's up there? The silence, the darkness, they've enveloped you as in a cocoon. You cannot move anymore. Relax, it'll be okay. Oh no, we have to try it. We can't change our clothes, we can't take any drugs. Oh man, I wonder if we had drugs equipped, if we could we could use them here. But unfortunately we don't. Okay. We could assign a point. But that seems silly. That seems almost cheaty. Okay, here we go. Let's try to see beyond the shadows. And we failed, unsurprisingly. No crab men for us, I guess. Just darkness without end. It makes your head spin. What's the darkness like, Perception? Filled with vague shapes of woodwork. The sense of a great height. And let's try to make out something, anything. There's nothing. You're dizzy and disoriented as you see dark and more dark rising. So many of the red checks in this game seem like they would... Either way they go it would be so interesting. So maybe I'll actually do another playthrough. Officer. What are you looking at? He follows your gaze, attempting to see whatever it is that you are seeing. Let's blink. Yes. Our cool blink stuff. Oh, look at that. You see something hanging from the rafters, looking straight at you with dark eyes. Whoa. Cool. Maybe it's possible to talk to it. Oh, let's try. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's talk to this thing. Got my flashlight on you, buddy. Is that a man? Looks more like part of the carpentry of the building came alive and is now studying you intently. His name is Tiago. The crab man. Let's say nothing. We'll be quiet for a moment. The man leaned forward a little, fixing you with a steady, unreadable gaze, then speaks. Habitual alcohol use has made you into a scared little pussy, Holmes. But don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. You come to the right place. <laughs> that was absolutely 100% not the voice I expected to come from this thing. I expected some deep, kind of mysterious creature voice. <laughs> not the voice of a gangbanger. That accent is Villa Lobos, a peninsula in Mesk and a district in general. There's a sizable contingent of Villa Lobos speaking mesks in Rivershaw. This is the right place for what? Here you can receive the mother's love. And when you're ready, she will take your hand and lift you out of the despair at the bottom of that bottle. This man is obviously a habitual narcotics user. Do we really need to question him? Hey, and what was that about the bottle again? You haven't even drank that much lately. Lay off it already. Sheesh. We could say, oh, hell no, and run away, but we're not doing that because that seems, well, that seems like it'd be no fun, honestly. So we're going to admit to our problem because Superstar is trying to get better. Yes, I guess I have a bit of a problem and it's been getting out of hand lately, but... It's that cruel way. I see deep inside you. Your body and your spirit are suffering greatly from overindulgement and you don't even know it. Oh, I'm very in touch with my suffering, Tiago. Not all of it. I was like you once. You don't know all the havoc El Vino is wrecking on your mind and your spirit. Necesita parar, homie. You seem very fixated just on the wine. I, that's not the, the only problem we have with illicit substances. You know, actually, since we're here, you may want to pay attention to what the ceiling climber is saying. <laughs> yeah, I bet that's how you feel, Kim. Look at these crazies. What is this shit? 
For some reason, I feel like you have a point there. Don't trust me. Trust the mother. I'm only the messenger, Holmes. His voice echoes in the cold air of the church. We just got a new potential thought. Wasteland of reality. What a neat name. This is the church of the mother of silence. You are welcome here. He sways gently on the beams, waiting for you to take it all in. You have no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Is he just trying to throw you off your game? He is not making a ton of sense, I'll be honest. Whatever it is, he's quite confident about it. Just look how gracefully he sways. He's kind of the de facto priest of this church. Tis not an act to my liege. Save him perchance, he hath deceived his very self. This man is a zealot. Do you know where the other spooker is, pointing at the strange machines around us? Other spooker? Oh, esa viejita es muy estudiosa. <laughs> Don't know, Holmes. The Aita is... Grandma? Wait, so is there another person living in the church, and it's, uh, Viejita? No. I just call her Viejita because of her clothes. She's actually quite young. Or maybe not that young. H is just one of the many masks we wear. And you don't know where she is? That's what I say, Holmes. How can you not know that when you both live here, Holmes? Don't really follow her comings and goings. Just see her typing on her computer now and then. We got different interests. So you've got nothing else to tell me? How she looks, what she does, who is she? I'm afraid not, S.A. You just have to wait until she comes back, or... He shrugs. Or search through her radio computer. Some ravers want to turn this place into a nightclub, Tiago. The ones in the tent outside, right? I see them. Think they scared of me. Wait, do they have reason to be scared of you? Nah, man. They look pretty funny. And I don't harm no one anymore. Anyway. Oh, anymore, huh? Oh, maybe he was part of the gang. Though he used to. A long time ago. So what do you think about the nightclub, that is? Why not? They wouldn't bother me none. I'm usually way up there, imbibing. Ain't no music on earth that can reach where I go. Oh, that's interesting. So he was discouraging us from drinking, but he's imbibing something. I wonder if it's metaphorical. Might even be nice to have some company. All right, and you must be the crab man. Never known myself to be a crab, but if that's the name you got for me, I won't stop you from using it. Hey, it's your neighbors who came up with this name, not me. I always thought of myself more like a flame, flickering along the rafters and beams. It may be that I gotta work on my technique. Maybe. That's not the only technique he's working on. Look at those carved sculptures. And is that a satchel of tools over there? Wait, did you carve all those sculptures? Sure am. Whittling wood used to be something I just did to busy my hands. Now I use those same hands in service of something greater than my own restlessness. Are you going to tell us what that is exactly? All right. Let's consider the context and meaning here. These are all kind of interesting. These are all kind of interesting. I don't think Harry would say this one because he's not oversexed. And I don't think he would be focused on the objectification of women. I think it's possible he would say they're derivative because of the art cop thought, but we haven't internalized that at all. And I think he is a little bit confused so maybe he doesn't get it, but why don't we try... I see what you've done there. It's as if these figures are trying to become one with the church, or perhaps with the mother herself. It's all just for the mother, man. No need to overthink it. Oh, well, I just got done overthinking it, so thanks for that, Tiago. What were you before you became a crab man and a woodcarver? I was in a gang way, but my memories of that time are fading. Most of them are already gone. I think Superstar would say... I lost my memory too, and it haunts me because he's so self-absorbed. No, man. You gotta let that shit go. Then the mother's light touch will fill you with rapture. Oh, really? Rapture, huh? Do you remember your name, sir? <laughs> Kim. <laughs> oh, Kim, you're so <laughs> rigid. Tiago's my name, but those syllables don't mean much to me these days. My name isn't just your identity, but also... So to speak, your place amongst your fellows, your place in the world. I ain't got no use for such a place anymore. Well, I think Harry's going to be proud of this. 
My name's Harrier Dubois, and my place in the world is Lieutenant Double E Freighter. That's just the thing, Holmes. None of that matters. He sounds melancholy saying this. His limbs are a mere shadow below the ceiling. But what are you doing here, Tiago? This is a special place. There's a perforation in the world up there. A way out into nothingness. This church was built around it for purposes of veneration. Oh, so there's maybe an entrance to the pale? I circled it, nurtured by the silence bestowed by the mother. One of these days, I'd be pure enough to go drink from it directly. What will happen once you drink from this perforation? I will be incinerated, but not destroyed. Finally, I won with the state of the world before reality began. Oh, I wonder if you can imbibe the pale to a degree and a certain amount of low-level poisoning from the pale is an intoxicant. That sounds a bit like substitution behavior, no? You know a thing or two about that. Oh, we certainly do. What's this mother of silence you keep talking about? Oh, that's no simple question, I say. She is one who can be painted or sculpted. She is a cavity in the dark beyond sense. She saved me, but I couldn't describe her to you. No one can, Holmes, and no one ever will. You sure you didn't just switch one drug for another? It's not like that at all, man. It's just faith and joyful service. Too gleeful those words. He is lying. Not to you, to his very own self. Are we going to point this out to him? I think we are. Faith is a kind of drug, Tiago. I heard that before, Way, And I know I can't convince you on the spot. But think, when's the last time you woke up from silent communion with a hangover, regretting what you did last night? Ah, uh, so this is interesting. I want to say this, but in part I want to say it because of our failed conversation with Dora over the phone. I don't think we can do that. I do, I, this incarnation of Harry, who we had to bring back from an autosave, didn't have that conversation. Hey, not judging. I've got drug problems myself. I can see, and it saddens me. But devotion can save you. It saved me. I wonder if we can do this. We did read that postcard. We do know that his ex-wife or his wife leaving him really messed him up. All right, I'm gonna say it. I think love might have been my drug of choice and I think I'm still hung over from it. She took you for a good spin, huh? Don't worry, bro. That love is but a drop compared to the ocean of the mother's love. The mother will eat all of you and never spit you out. That sounds distinctly uncomfortable. He still sounds like a druggie to me. Let's agree to disagree. I know it will take time. Don't sweat it. I know it will take time. Don't sweat it. I guess you're repeating yourself? This doesn't make sense. I think we do understand what he's doing in the church. How did you even find this place, this church? Hard to say. I think I did some construction work here, back when I still had material worries. Up there, I realized what the true purpose of the church was. Oh yeah, maybe he did stray into the pale, and it both saved and corrupted him. Been spending a lot of time here ever since. The past is nothing to me now, way. It didn't belong to me. I do want to ask this just for the for uh, completionist's sake. I still don't understand what you're doing in the church, Tiago. I'm a seraph, Holmes. I sing the mother's glory. Then you should sing for me, the superstar cop. I am from No Marietti, if that's what you're thinking. And the song I sing is Silent as the Mother. Yeah, that, maybe I should have gone for the other one. Marietti is a mesk style of music and dance commonly seen at all manner of festivities, especially weddings. It's delightfully quaint owing to its peasant origins. Thank you, Encyclopedia. He lost his cool there for a moment. Seems you hit some nerve. Ah, interesting. Right, I had other questions. The sinewy figure lingers on the wooden beams, blending into the shadows. Tiago, you've been here a long time. Do you know why the church was abandoned? Police raid a while back. Did you witness it? Not really, or at least I don't remember much of it anymore. The mother's love has done its job. That's what's so great about the mother. It lets you forget about everything. 
I wonder if he is actually drinking the pale, and if that even makes sense. Okay then, thanks I guess. Huh, that was weird. It's weird. This looks like some pants. There's some other stuff over here. I'm a little surprised Kim doesn't have something to say to us. Oh, it's not pants. It's uh, a scarf. Plus one. It's a Mesk Banger silk scarf. Plus one pain threshold. Let's see what this is. Professional? Frost has drawn flowers on the glass, obscuring the view. I see, it's windows outside. I wonder why it zoomed in like that. That was weird. A cracked pane of glass, colorful. I'm gonna zoom back out here. What else do we have? Let's go see what this is. Another one of Tiago's carvings, I guess. A spider has spun its web around this wood carved pillar. Looks like some shoes and some money over here. Whoa, Superstar, you're taking the long way. Oh, I see. Okay. Him is like, hurry up, you bastard. Got some empathy shoes. Ooh, Mask Bangers Red Rogues. I might put those on right away. And we've got a buck fifty. Oh, it's another radio computer. A machine stands in the corner, watched over by the figures on the stained glass window. It's turned on and quivering with soft electricity. Cool. Another radio computer. And this time it's already turned on. He seems cautious around the machine. We should leave. I doubt this place bears any connection to the case. Yes, but this machine looks just like the one in the doomed commercial area. It's also quite similar to the one we have down at the station. Must be the same model. He inspects the machine's framework, careful not to touch anything. Wow, he's really afraid of it. A quaint little box of radio waves. Wait, let me just investigate it. We'll step behind the computer. You see fluorescent play and print buttons on the keyboard. A hatch connected to the central compartment is wide open. The lieutenant says nothing. You see the machine's glowing frame reflected back from his diamond-shaped glasses. You're free to proceed. Okay, let's look inside the compartment. Behind the hatch sits a cube-like crisscross of filaments, smoldering in the dark like fireflies. Silver tape on the side says, in black marker, Log, February to March. All right, let's press play. The speaker comes to life. Static seeps through the machine's planar magnetic driver. An old lady greets you. Her voice sounds a hundred years old. Good evening, votre race accident on Sandrine. This is the East Insulin Dien Rapid Station 1. Please repeat, is this the personal log? It's our old friend. It's the same old woman you spoke with through the radio computer in the doomed commercial area. Yvonne, it's me again. How are you? Good, thank you. Please repeat, is this the personal log? I looked inside the core, but the tape on the filament just said log, February through March. Good. Please repeat the password. Ugh, we don't know the password, Yvonne. Let's look around. There's no use trying to guess the answer. Okay, Kim. Maybe he knows something. I don't know the password. Received. I will register this login attempt. Okay, let's look around like Kim said. That sounds bad. A login attempt something a criminal would do yeah that's what i thought when we were over in the doomed commercial area but i don't know why you're telling me that now half-life is there anything else i can do for you today thanks but i'm finished with this call sleep well accident. the machine's keyboard is still illuminated revealing fluorescent play and print buttons all right let's see what happens when we hit print nothing happens okay well that would be nothing then Portable Harman Wauchi tape recorder. Hey, can we use our cassette on this? Is it possible it's recording something? Oh, well, I suppose it is. This looks like it's an entrance to somewhere, too. 
Someone siphoning electrical current from outside into this antenna. Hmm. Two decks of reel to reel tapes spinning on empty. Oh man, can we put our tape on here? All right, let's go see what Tiago, if Tiago has the password. Tiago, you need to help us out. Holmes. Oh, hey, Way. There's coffee in the back. Oh, wait. I meant the mother's love. <laughs> Feels like you're mocking yourself, Tiago. Have you by any chance heard the Vieta say the password to her radio computer? Too many times, Esse. You need it for something. Oh, we definitely do. Surveys are a good way to fish for personal information, especially in the name of public safety. Sybil and S was a little bit strange, Drama. I'm doing a survey of passwords and passcodes identifying regional trends. In the interest of public safety, of course. Don't sweat it, Vato. The password is afterlife death. Yeah, I don't think he believed us, but whatever, we got the password. What you think of that? Makes me almost pity la nilita pequeña when I hear it. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem great. Okay, then. Thanks, Tiago. I think we're done here, Essay. Oh, the figure crawls off into the darkness above. Oh, I guess that's the end of him. That was an interesting conversation. It was, Kim, I agree. However, I'm still not sure how it's relevant to our investigation. Nor am I. Okay, nothing new, but we can go try the computer now. With the password, we'll go talk to Yvonne. The machine's keyboard is still illuminated, revealing fluorescent play and print buttons. All right, here we go. The speaker comes to life. Static seeps through the machine's planar magnetic driver. An old lady greets you. Her voice sounds a hundred years old. Let's go, Yvonne. Good evening. Votre accident en Sandrine. This is the East Insulindian Rapid Station 1. Please repeat. Is this the personal log? Let's try this first, since we may not get another chance. Fortress Occidente. Like the one in the doomed commercial area? I have two machines registered to this company name in Martinez. One on Sambrun, the other on Rue de saint -Gedlaine. So I may actually have been right. This might be where they've set up shop to do the role-playing game again. saint That's the church. And Rue de saint -Gedlaine? That's the Doom commercial area. Yes, thank you, Kim, for those of us who maybe weren't paying attention. Anything else I can help you with? Yes, Yvonne. I think I have the right password now. Good. Please repeat the password. Afterlife death. Good. I have unlocked the filament. After ending the call, please press print to access the filament. Okay, thank you. Fortress accident. Is there anything else I can do for you today? Thanks, I'm finished with this call. Sleep well, Fortress Accident. The machine's keyboard is still illuminated, revealing fluorescent play and print buttons. I'm gonna call it here. We will print the log next time. Thanks for joining me on this continuing adventure. And if you feel like tossing a like at this video, that would be great. Please also remember to spay or neuter your pets, but not both.